Alexis Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a chocolate cake with buttercream frosting. I'm going to get everything together and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've got uh, my dry ingredients in the bowl. I have one cup of cocoa, two and a half cups of flour, one four teaspoon of salt, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two cups of sugar, and I sifted the uh, flour, cocoa, baking soda, and salt together. And you want to make sure you do that because a lot of times cocoa has, it just has like little uh, pieces in it. So you want to make sure you sift that. And always sift your flour too. It just makes for a lighter cake. So I'm just going to whisk in my sugar. And I'm going to move it to the side so we can get our wet ingredients together. And I always post all the ingredients down in the description box. We need uh, one and a fourth cup of sour cream. And then we need three large eggs. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And we're not using the stand mixer for the cake, but we'll use that for the butter chocolate buttercream uh, frosting. One and a fourth cups of milk. I was going to put coffee in the cake, but all we had was a uh, chocolate mint, so. I didn't want the cake to taste minty. Uh, we also need uh, one cup of vegetable oil. And making a cake at home is just as pretty much just as easy as getting a you know box cake, which I'm not hating on box cakes. I use box cakes too, but making a cake at home or from scratch. It's easy as well. All you gotta do is, you know, measure out the ingredients. And I'm sure you probably could make, I don't know, maybe four or five cakes. Out of, you know, just buying the ingredients one time. And make sure that uh, sour cream is mixed in. Okay, and this also calls for a small box of pudding, which was a 3.9 ounce, and I just have the large box, so I'm going to use uh, half of this pudding. But adding a pudding to a cake gives it kind of a richness and more chocolatey flavor. Go ahead and mix that pudding in for the dry ingredients. Okay, we're going to uh, add our dry ingredients and we're going to add the add it just probably about half of it and stir it up. This cocoa, I, I spilt a little bit when I was measuring earlier. I tell you, cocoa is like the hardest thing to clean up off your cabinets. Especially if you have white cabinets, it just smears all over the place. Okay, I just grabbed a wooden spoon real quick. Finish mixing it. And you don't want to over mix, you just want to mix it until it's combined. And I got three eight inch 
cake pans. I just got these throwaway ones. I couldn't find one of my cake pans and I wanted to make a three layer. I didn't want to cut any in half. So we're just gonna eyeball these. If you had a if you have a scale you can weigh them out. Make sure you got the exact amount in each. And they should each be about half full. And if you just want to make a two layer cake, I'd use two nine inch pans. That'd be plenty of uh, cake mix for two two nice big layers. Okay, we're going to put these in the oven at 350, 25 to 30 minutes. And when they come out of the oven, I'll show you what they look like. And I'm going to be back in just a minute to make the uh, icing. Okay, I got two softened sticks of butter. They've been setting out all day since this morning. Gonna let these go start mixing for about five minutes and then after five minutes we're gonna come and scrape down the bowl okay this is what it looks like and I've been letting it go for 10 minutes I did scrape down the sides one time and so it should be white and fluffy and it turns from yellow to a cream color and this is also the same way you would make a, a vanilla frosting it's just the same thing you just wouldn't add any cocoa powder to it Three and a half cups of powdered sugar. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that in. I'm going to add a half of it in. And give it a mix. You want to start out on low, or you're going to have a. Hopefully, we won't have a powdered sugar cloud. And when you're mixing the butter, you want to. You want to have that on like medium to high speed or it will just, the butter won't do anything. When you'll come back, it'll just still be in the lump in the bottom. So you do need to have that on a higher speed. And we need a half cup of cream. I'm going to go ahead and add half of that now. And if you don't have heavy cream, you can go ahead and add milk. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll be right back. I need to measure out our cocoa. Okay, we need a half a cup of cocoa. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more. Add the cocoa and a little bit more of the powdered sugar. sides and this really is something that even once you get the powdered sugar in you need to uh, whip this blend it on high I'm going to add the rest of the powdered sugar in and we're going to start that out on low and then bring it up to high Scrape down one more time. It's really important to scrape down the sides. It 
just about there. And if you think it's too thick, then you can add just a little bit more milk to it. You don't want to be careful about how much because you don't want it to your butter to break, but you can add just a little bit more. I'm going to check on those and we'll be back. Okay, our cakes are out of the oven and I've let them cool for probably about 40 minutes. And I have some foil down so our plate doesn't get dirty. And then we just pull those out when we get done. Make sure your cakes are completely cool. If not, your icing will just melt into the cake. And when you're trying to stack the cake, so it'll, it'll just slide off. My cakes did take about uh, 30 minutes in the oven. thick you want in the middle of the layers. And kind of start from the middle and just push out. And you just want to start from the middle. On the top I always put just a really good layer. You kind of want to make sure you're not leaning. Push it down to the sides. And while you're icing, you want to just kind of make sure you're repositioning because when you're putting the icing on, it kind of moves the cake. You don't want to make sure you don't, it's not leaning one way too much. Swirl marks. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna pull off a little piece of the foil. I want to make sure you put the foil on the edge. I kind of got that one piece of foil too much in the underneath it, and it pulled my cake. swirls on the top. Alright, and then when my my daughter, middle daughter Mandy is going to be my taste tester. When she gets here, I'll, we'll be back. Okay, we got Mandy here with us. Try the cake? Oh, I gotta get a piece. Is it good? It's really good. I have to taste this home. Is it really chocolatey? It's moist. Moist. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you guys for being here, and remember to be show kindness to others, and you guys have a good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. I just wanted to, I forgot to show the inside of the cake. That's what it looks like, all finished. All right, you guys have a good evening. Bye-bye.